Chancellor Barron, I declare the morning ceremony of the 95th commencement of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith convened. While we're all standing, distinguished faculty, administrators, and staff of the university, graduates, parents, family, and friends, welcome to the morning ceremony of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Spring 2016 commencement. Let us take a moment of reflective silence to consider the importance of this celebration in all our lives. Please join Dr. Rager Moore as he leads us in the singing of our national anthem, accompanied by the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Symphonic Band. Will all men please remove their caps? Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed? At the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare. The bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free? And the home of the brave. I would like to introduce those seated on the platform. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. First, I'd like to introduce the administration, academic deans, and others from the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. Dr. Georgia Hale, Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. Mark Horn, Vice Chancellor Emeritus, who for the past year has served as Interim Vice Chancellor for Finance and Administration. Dr. Lee Crable, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. Dr. Mary Lackey, Vice Chancellor for University Advancement. Dr. Elizabeth Underwood, Associate Vice Chancellor for University Relations and Government Relations. Dr. Margaret Tanner, Associate Provost. Dr. Ron Darbo, Dean, College of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Dr. Paul Hankins, Dean, College of Communication, Languages, Arts, and Social Sciences. Dr. Carolyn Mosley, Dean, College of Health Sciences. Dr. Shuk Submaranian, Dean, College of Business. Dr. Ken Warden, Dean, College of Applied Science and Technology. Rick Goins, Director of Alumni Affairs, Wayne Womack, Registrar. I would also like, to, at this time, let's give these folks a round of applause and thank them for their service to the university. I would also like to introduce members of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Board of Visitors. Jerry Glidewell, and please have them stand as their names call, uh, Jerry Glidewell, Eileen Cradle, and Representative George McGill. Please give them a round of applause for their service. We have some special guests with us today. Uh, would you rise and be recognized as I call your name, my wife Janice Barron. State Representative Justin Boyd, District 77, Fort Smith City Directors Tracy Penarts and Kevin Settle. Please let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. The success of an institution also relies on the hard work of its staff, many of whom are here today. Will the staff please rise and be recognized? If you are staff, please rise, wait, ra raise your hand. Let's thank these folks, they work very hard. Seated before you are members of the faculty who represent the academic departments of the university upon whose recommendation candidates for degrees are presented. Faculty members, please rise and be recognized.
Thank you. Graduates, congratulations on being here on the front rows as soon to be graduates of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. On behalf of the University of Arkansas System Board of Trustees, Dr. Don Bobbitt, the President of the University of Arkansas System, the UAFS Board of Visitors, and our faculty and staff, I extend, extend to you our sincerest thanks for giving the University of Arkansas Fort Smith the privilege of being the vehicle for your formal education. Today is indeed a special day for you, not because you're graduating, although that is cause enough for celebration, but because two realities are now true for you. First, you are now ready to really start the learning process. And perhaps some of you may have thought that now that you've graduated, that the learning process will slow down, that, you'll, that it'll be a little more leisurely, or that you'll have less at stake. But here's the reality. Talk to anybody in business, in industry, in education, in any place, and they will tell you that change is happening all around us at breakneck speed. And you have probably already figured that out yourselves as students, or you wouldn't be sitting here graduating. Your education has provided you a, a, a good many of the tools you need to keep up with the speed of the change. But if you want real success, no matter how you define that term for yourself, the reality is that you have to move faster than the change. You have to anticipate the change and adapt to the change before the need for change even arrives. Your formal education is just the prelude to learning how to get past the curve and ahead of the change. Fully developing the ability to get past the curve, that's up to you. And your success will, be will depend on your own drive, your own ambition, motivation, and continued learning. Second, now that you're graduating, you're taking on the mantle of leadership in your professional and personal lives. No matter the degree you're receiving, associate or baccalaureate, the fact that you have obtained it puts you in the top 30th percentile in the state of Arkansas, or any surrounding state for that matter. That means that of every 100 people, only 30 have a collegiate degree and credentials of, the, of a collegiate degree. And that means that in your professional and personal lives, people will look to you as a leader. That, that perspective that others will now have about you as a college graduate and thus as a leader will change your lives forever. I implore you to embrace the change and make a positive influence in the world. In just a few minutes, you'll walk across the stage, shake my hand, and receive your diploma cover to be followed by the real thing in a few weeks, assuming you passed all your finals and paid all of your bills. <laughs> I look forward to watching your trajectory, and I promise that all of us here at UAFS will keep working hard to make your degree increasingly valuable. And I just want to make a personal note here that this is the, this is the 10th year, or this represents the 10th year that we have given um, baccalaureate degrees. And I was just talking to a young lady who got her degree in that first class that were awarded baccalaureate degrees. And I told her that every year I tell graduates that my goal, my job, is to make your degree more valuable next year than it is today, the day that you're receiving it. And she told me, she said, absolutely that has happened for me. And I make that same commitment to you that, you, that as, as you progress and as you, you use your degree for professional purposes to move forward in the world, that people will have a higher and higher attitude and perspective about the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. I make that promise to you today. I hope that you carry with you fond thoughts and good memories of the, of the victory in education that you're celebrating today. And now I'd like to introduce our speaker, Dr. Benny Gooden, who I hope that I step back from the microphone because as many of you know, Dr. Gooden's background is music and he has got a great voice and he was singing uh, the, the national anthem and I wanted to make sure that my mumbling could not get in the way if, he, if it was able to project out so you could hear his voice. He's got a phenomenal voice. You know, he started working here in August of 1986. Since coming to Fort Smith, he's led the community and staff as Fort Smith schools have responded to a changing student population and a limited resource base. He's a native of Clinton in Van Buren County, Arkansas, and attended Harding University in Searcy, Arkansas, where, where he received a BA degree in music education. He has an MED, Master's in Education, from the University of Arkansas, and a Doctorate of Education in Educational Administration from the University of Missouri in Columbia. Following the beginning of his educational career as music instructor in Alma, Arkansas, 
As he pointed out in our reception before this 50 years ago, he has held a number of administrative positions in Missouri schools, including assistant principal, high school principal, assistant superintendent for instruction, and, and superintendent of schools. Before coming to Fort Smith, he was superintendent of schools in Boonville, Missouri for eight years. He completes his 41st year as a school superintendent in 2015-16. During his career as a school administrator, he's been active in a number of professional and community organizations. He was honored in 1992 by the American Association of School Administrators as the Arkansas Superintendent of the Year. In 1993, he was elected as one of 100 outstanding school administrators in North America by the Executive Educator Magazine and named Administrator of the Year by the Arkansas PTA in 1995 and in 1999. He's active in a whole variety of community organizations, all of which uh, respond to needs here in this community. He's actively engaged in the legislative process at the state and national level and has served as a member of the Executive Committee of the American Association of School Administrators. And he served as the president of the American Association of School Administrators in 2012 uh, and 2013, and, and that was followed by a Distinguished Service Award in 2014. He's a visiting professor of education uh, in the doctoral program at the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville and is a frequent presenter on government and finance topics. Uh, there's a whole variety of awards that Dr. Gooden has, has won that I could go through, but I can assure you that he has had a phenomenal and a distinguished career. Dr. Gooden is married and, and he and his wife Martha are the parents of three children, all of them graduates of Northside High, who have gone on to distinguish themselves as physicians or international business leaders, and just as importantly are the sources of seven grandchildren for them. Now this, all of that information that I just gave you all came from Dr. Gooden's official bio, but I have a few points to add. Dr. Gooden has been a friend and a mentor to many of us in public and higher education, and that certainly includes me. He has been a supporter and a promoter of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith and one of the founders of the Western Arkansas Technical Center, which resides right here on this campus and serves over 600 high school students granting concurrent credit every single day. It's a rare pri privilege to have a person with the kind of a distinguished public education career that Dr. Gooden has to be here to share five decades of wisdom and insight. With that, please welcome Dr. Benny Gooden. Thank you, Chancellor Barron, uh, Provost, thank you, faculty, distinguished guests. My, what a great day this is. You bet. Uh, Dr. Barron used some of my time, so I'm going to have to talk fast. <laughs> Let me first say congratulations to the graduates. And congratulations to all of your proud family members who are sharing in your accomplishments here today. You know, your graduation marks another milestone in your progression from childhood to senility. Now, fortunately for most of you, childhood is a whole lot closer than senility. Now, what that means is that you have many years to create some great memories and then time to cherish them before you begin to forget them. So I hope you cherish the moment. By con completing a college degree, you have accomplished several things. First, you have positioned yourself for a chance for better jobs and financial security. You know, the data are clear. Those with more education skills gain employment more readily, and they're less likely to lose their jobs than their less educated counterparts during times of economic uncertainty. So that's a winner. Secondly, you've hopefully prepared for something which is satisfying and which will give you the happiness and will contribute to your quality of life. You know, as each of us attempts to balance our relationships with our family and friends, our leisure time pursuits, and our work activities, it's important that the satisfaction found in our jobs is an important part of that and a great contributor, instead of a detractor. I tell people all the time, if you don't like what you do, try to find it, do something else. 
because there's no reason to be unhappy the rest of your life. Third, you have acquired a positive quality which can contribute to a better life. Statistically, those with college degrees enjoy better health, are more engaged in community activities, and generally have more stable lives than their counterparts. Higher education is a win-win all around. And, by the way, as the Chancellor pointed out, you're helping Arkansas stay out of last place among the states in the number of citizens holding college degrees. You know that's important. It's an important part of advancing our state and its economy in creating opportunities for the future. Well, as I considered what I might say to you this morning, I reflected on my own graduation experiences. And what I discovered is I could remember very little, if any, of the wisdom which graduation speakers brought to me. I suspect that you're no different. However, in that context, I hope you'll consider a few thoughts which I think might help you put your past, your present, and your future into perspective. When Charles Dickens penned his immortal words in A Tale of Two Cities more than 150 years ago, he described a time which sounds strikingly like today, and I quote, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times, it was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness, it was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity, it was the season of light, it was the season of darkness, it was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. We had everything before us, we had nothing before us. In Dickens' classic novel, he described a time prior to the French Revolution in which the gap between the aristocratic class and the peasant class was wide. Living conditions for the poor were deplorable and there was widespread rancor on the political scene. The author contrasted this situation with all the advances which were evident in the 18th and 19th centuries. And who says history doesn't repeat itself? Today in America, we have an economic situation in which the top 20% of U.S. households own more than 80% of the wealth, while the bottom 40% combine for a paltry three-tenths of 1% of total wealth. The political climate has become so toxic that traditional political parties have difficulty uniting to support candidates at the national level, and discord in the 50 states is not a whole lot better. Contrast this gloom and doom that I just described with the fact that the overall standard of living that you are going to enjoy and do enjoy in our United States is relatively high compared to most of the world. The scientific advances in communication, and there's probably not a one in here who doesn't have a, an iPhone with more power compu computing-wise than it took to land on the moon in 1969. Yes, we've made advancements. Healthcare, we're living longer. And transportation, all of these things go together to make today's world better than we could have imagined it just a few years ago. Truly, there are contrasts which challenge people of all ages. But for those of us who choose to look at the proverbial glass as being half full, we might say it's the best of times. I want you to consider your perspective as a citizen of the world. If our world were represented by a cohort of 100 people, 86 of those can read and write, 14 cannot. 15 exist on $2 a day or less. 56 spend $2 to $10, and only one spends over $90. 87 of those 100 people have clean water to drink, 13 do not. 44 have the internet, 56 do not. 77 have a place to live, 23 do not. Now, let's put it in real perspective for you today. Seven of those 100 people 
hold a college degree. Ninety-three do not. You have definitely joined a select group. As you leave college, I want to challenge you very quickly with about four things that I think will help you focus on your future. First of all, grow in your career. Become that lifelong learner that Chancellor Barron was speaking of. Some of you have already uh, demonstrated this quality as you pursued a college degree later in life than your traditional college student coming straight from high school. The challenging work environment is going to result in more than one reinvention of your skill set and will likely result in changing employers several times during your working life. You say, well, I'm self-employed, but even if you're self-employed and pursue an entrepreneurial career, a changing business climate and global competition will certainly cause you to continue to grow and change. Secondly, remember your civic responsibility. In every election, you should vote. This is a privilege which accompanies your citizenship as an American. But do more than vote. Be an informed voter who looks at the issues from a broad perspective and who considers the greater good for the community, the state, and the nation. Now, service in selected roles of government is a, noted pra a notable practice and noble. Whether you serve at the city level, the county level, the state, school district, or in, at any level of government, our democracy depends upon the dedicated individuals who will participate in governing our society. But if you choose not to be an active participant, encourage and support those who do and hold them accountable for making decisions that in the long term will benefit all citizens, not just a select few. Thirdly, provide service to those who need your help. The first service you can give is to your very own family. Providing a stable family environment has an immeasurable impact upon all involved, especially the children who will become our next generation of leaders, workers, and parents. Great communities are defined by those who step forward to fill roles of volunteer service. Whether coaching youth sports, working in the PTA, mentoring a student in one of our schools, serving in the many civic organizations, or being a member of a local volunteer fire department. The fabric that keeps communities strong is the vast array of civic, faith-based, and service organizations found throughout our nation. And lastly, be a strong example for those around you and for the young people who look to you as parents, mentors, and friends. This ex example is one of character, as my dad told me, doing the right thing. Employers and business leaders often suggest to school leaders like me, and that's a role I've held for almost five decades, they suggest that we must teach students responsibility dedication, and a work ethic. Now, as I reflect on that admonition, I realize that I have a pretty strong work ethic. And then I ask, where did I get that work ethic? And I realize that I got that work ethic and sense of responsibility from my parents and from the adult examples of my youth. That's the role you need to fill. These examples are a legacy which each of you can give to the next generation. So, is it the best of times or the worst of times? You have the ability to define this for yourselves. How you approach challenges, which certainly will come. How you face disappointments, which we will all face. And how you resolve each day to be a blessing to others will help you and those in your family, those in your work group, and everyone you see to experience 
the best of times as a reflection of you. Congratulations on this special day and best wishes for the rest of your lives. So as we proceed, please observe these three courtesies that show respect for all. First, a professional photographer uh, will take a photograph of all graduates as they receive their degrees. Uh, please do not come forward to take individual photographs so that we may keep congestion to a minimum and allow the audience an unobstructed view. Graduates, please remember to stop for a photograph with me after you have received your diploma. Now I know that some of you are going to kind of, this is going to go right over your head, but trust me, there are steps right here and you will not get past these steps on the dais without putting your hand in my hand and the photographer taking a picture. So I'll pull you back on stage, all right? So second, graduation from the university is a happy time for all of us. I ask that as the names of the graduates are read, show your pride in their accomplishment with appropriate reserve and dignity. And third, out of respect for the graduates and their families, please remain until all graduates have been recognized and the recessional is complete. And now I call upon Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Georgia Hale, to come forward to present the candidates for their degrees. Chancellor Barron, each candidate standing before you has completed a prescribed course of study defined by the faculty. The names of candidates graduating in absentia are listed in the program but will not be read. Some candidates are wearing medals as recipients of the Academic Excellence Award as selected by the faculty of their program. A number of candidates have completed their studies with a grade point average of at least 3.6 and are identified as academic honor students by an honor stole which they wear. The honor status of each will be announced as their names are called. On behalf of the faculty of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith, it is my pleasure and privilege to present these candidates for the awarding of technical certificates, associate degrees, and baccalaureate degrees. Will the faculty of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith now stand to show concurrence? With the concurrence of this faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University of Arkansas system, I confer upon you your respective degrees with all the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Faculty and students, you may be seated. Wayne Womack, the University Registrar, will now come forward to assist in the presentation of diplomas. The graduates will be called forward by the deans of their college in the following order, Dr. Ken Warden, College of Applied Science and Technology, followed by Dr. Paul Hankins, Dean, College of Communication, Languages, Arts, and Social Science. The name of each graduate will be read by Bob Stevenson, Associate Professor of Theater Arts in the College of Communication, Languages, Arts, and Social Science. A distinguished faculty marshal will lead each group from their respective college. Graduates from the College of Applied Science and Technology are led forward to receive their degrees by Faculty Marshal of the College, Dr. Kerry Tabor. Anna Marie Farr, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology, summa cum laude. <laughs> Erica Lynn Christie, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, magna cum laude. Danetta Evett Henry, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, magna cum laude. Donna J. Scott, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, magna cum laude. Ashley Denise Hale, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, cum laude. Letitia Leanne Hughes, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, cum laude.
Matthew Charles Sider, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Jessica Brooke Waddle, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership, Cum Laude. <laughs> Alyssa Essman, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Brianna Christine Cantrell, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Robert G. Lingo, Jr., Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Ty Nguyen, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Courtney Renee Grigo, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Rosemary Nancy Kleiner, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Anne Elizabeth Benoit Lee, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Christina L. Mooney, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Rebecca D. Clayton, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Adriana Ariel Chantel Price, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Ursula Taylor, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Jessica Michelle Anderson, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Rebecca Sarit Turco, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Shakendra L. Mumphrey, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Aiden Leslie Phillips, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Jordan Dallas Hammer, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Alec Landon Pender, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Kendall Lariat Emerson, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Haston William Freeman, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Blaze Zachary Warwick, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Kenneth Allen Martin, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Jerry Dwayne Finley, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Savannah Diane Hall, Bachelor of Science, Applied Science. Jeffrey M. Larry, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Giovanni David Castro, Bachelor of Applied Science. Crystal Ann Hardwick, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Brandon Hunter Campbell, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology. Frank Edward Shockey, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology. Michael J. Sider, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology. Walter Brooks Snyder III, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology. Adrienne Lynn Ackley, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology.
Arissa Caitlin Coggett, Bachelor of Applied Science. Ashley Dawn Patillo, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Emily Cantu Jordan, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Christine E. Taylor, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Edwin Monero, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Derek Adam Wells, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Caleb Lynn Lambert, Bachelor of Applied Science. Andrew Paul Dickinson, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Macy Alexandria Hammond, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Lachelle Dawn Rolandelli, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Brian Luke Hudson, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Michaela Nicole Jackson, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Corey Elise Wilkinson, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Alicia Nicole Patterson, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Zachary Collins Ladd, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Michael Wayne John Prawl, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Natasha Long, ba Associate of Applied Science, Office Management Technology. Hunter Drake Comer, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology. Zane William Harrison, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology. Christopher Blake Haley, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology. Tammy Michelle Croder, Associate of Applied Science, Paralegal Studies. Kendra Fay Lafleur, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology. Jacob Zamora, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology. Trey Ryan Franklin, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology. Zachary M. J. Morris, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology. Garrett Lane Burnham, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology. <laughs> Evelyn Louise Tyson, Associate of Applied Science, Office Management Technology. <laughs> Heather Renee Pendleton, Associate of Applied Science, Office Management Technology. <laughs> Alec Benjamin Nickel. Associate of Applied Science, Office Management Technology, accompanied by his father, David Nickel, adjunct faculty. Cassandra Ann Sherrill, Associate of Applied Science, Office Management Technology. Parker McMullen, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology. Aaron Alexander Wellnitz, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology. <laughs> Timothy D. Poole, Associate of Applied Science, Electronics Technology. Please join me in applauding the graduates from the College of Applied Science and Technology.
The graduates from the College of Communication, Languages, Arts, and Social Sciences are led forward to receive their degrees by the faculty marshal for the college, Don Lee. Earlier this year, we lost a member of the UAFS family. David Teague suddenly passed away in February in what would have been his graduating semester at UAFS. We are honored to award David's Bachelor of General Studies degree. I would like to ask David's daughters, Armentia Steele and Sarah Teague, to please come forward and accept his diploma. Ms. Teague, Ms. Steele, and to other members of the Teague family, we extend our deepest condolences. David will be missed. Courtney Michaela Parker, Bachelor of Music Education, Summa Cum Laude, Cum Honore. Sarah Evelyn Johnson Rosencrantz, Bachelor of Arts, History, Summa Cum Laude, Cum Honore. Caitlin Marie Priest, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Matthew Aaron Peffers Eggert, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. Kaylin Jean Cripps, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Daryl Joe Cotton, Bachelor of Arts, History, Summa Cum Laude. Damian U. Irwin, Bachelor of Arts, English, Summa Cum Laude. Christopher Ha, Bachelor of Music Education, Summa Cum Laude. Taylor Lee Broach, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Peyton Elise Allen, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communications, Magna Cum Laude, Cum Honore. Paige Olivia Stewart, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communications, Magna Cum Laude. Derek Wallace Hill, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communications, Magna Cum Laude, accompanied by his mother, Carol Hill, Administrative Specialist, College of Health Science Dean's Office. Hunter Christian Gibson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Kayla Dawn Schluterman, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Lauren Alexis Hyman, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Lindsay M. Tillery, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Tanya Longsiotha, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Joshua Ty Stroggins, Bachelor of Arts, Music, Magna Cum Laude. Myra Patricia Esquivel, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Jason R. Miller, Bachelor of Arts, History, Cum Laude. Kenneth Wayne Robson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Brianna Marie Sosby, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design, Cum Laude. Daryl Francis Johnson, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design, Cum Laude. Miranda Lissette Pegg, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design, Cum Laude. Mariah Lynn Robertson, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. J. 
James Joseph Batura, Bachelor of Science, History, Cum Laude. Dushan Stroyanovic, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communications, Rhetoric and Writing, Cum Laude, International Student from Serbia. Cole R. Ludolf, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Allison Grace Kerouac, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communications, Cum Laude. Antonio Torre Jones, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communications, Cum Laude. Jesse Brian Harwood, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Alex Jared Horton, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Caitlin Marie Hale, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure, Cum Laude. Lakin Danielle Wilbanks, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Carl Hamilton III, Bachelor of Arts, English, Cum Laude. Ashley Renee White, Bachelor of Arts, English, Cum Laude. Lakin Dawn Elizabeth Emerson, Bachelor of Arts, Music, Cum Laude. Carrie Lynn Bryan, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art, Cum Laude. Courtney Ray Freeman, Bachelor of Educa Music Education, Cum Laude. Suzanne Rebecca White, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Hannah Nicole Lovins, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Brett P. Alexander, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Havila Syra Godfrey, Bachelor of Arts History, Cum Honore. Taylor Jane Williams, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Amanda Lee Yoakum, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Stephen Jabari Franklin, Bachelor of Arts Media Communications. Marvin G. Reyes, Bachelor of Arts, Spanish. <laughs> Irving Aldoberto Oriana, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Jennifer R. Mayo, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Chelsea Grace West, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Jalen Nicole Hayes, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Samuel Lee Hill, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Evan Stanton Ferries, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Aquiles Salvador Hernandez, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Justin Don Dowdy, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Shanice Nicole McFerrin, Bachelor of Arts, Music Education. <laughs> Ardith Levi Norris, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. <laughs> Janelle Elizabeth Cox, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. <laughs> Alice Elizabeth Mick, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. Sarah Cheyenne Tomlin, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. Victoria Ann Marie Wiley, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. Colt Austin James, Bachelor of Arts, History. Nicole Lynn Porter, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Rain Stephen Bross, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Rebecca Lynn Karp, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art. <laughs> Lucas Michael Hicks, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art. <laughs> Sarah
Seth M. Stewart, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art. Elsa Bridget Gonzalez, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Maria Aele Martinez, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Victor Vang, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Megan Brianne Mitchell, Bachelor of Arts, History. Patricia Bebet Olson, Bachelor of Arts, Rhetoric and Writing. Jared Wayne James, Bachelor of Arts, Rhetoric and Writing. Laura Elizabeth Sanders, Bachelor of Arts, English. Faith Anne Marie Abernathy, Bachelor of Arts, English. Carol Ann Seahorn, Bachelor of Arts, English. Tim Van Dyke, Bachelor of Arts, English. Jesse Parker Nichols, Bachelor of General Studies. Shawnee Elizabeth Venus Carter, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Patricia L. Ledford, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Amber Lou Cunningham, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Jose F. Gonzalez, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Gwendolyn Marie West, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Christina Marie Whitley, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Jordan Adair Bashaner, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Leticia Aguilar, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Lana Christine Moore, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Hannah Janice Page Moore, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Haley Marie Talley, Bachelor of Arts, History. Brittany Mc Nicole McNeil, Bachelor of General Studies. Allison Jane Williams, Bachelor of General Studies. One more time. Michaela Marie Arbaugh, Bachelor of General Studies. Audra Leanne Rhodes, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Zachary Tabor Lawrence, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Glenda Ann Gert, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Michaela Emabeth Stem, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Kaylee L. Pickarts, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Mackenzie K. Campbell, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Melissa Jo Strange, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Holly Elizabeth Bearden, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Leslie Nicole Barker, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communications. Taylor Caroline Starr, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Brianna Shea Croson, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Julio Josue Abraham, Bachelor of Science, Spanish with Teacher Licensure. Karina Piedra, Bachelor of Science, Spanish with Teacher Licensure. Mariela Esparza, Bachelor of Science, Spanish with, teachers, with Teacher Licensure. Alessandra Maria Bueno, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. 
Anthony Logan Hicks, Bachelor of Arts, History. Tyler A. Teague, Bachelor of Arts, English. Jordan Patrick Shelby, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Thank you. Alyssa J. Anderson, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communications. Dominique Jamal Rainey, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Cody Richard Ryder, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Robert Andrew Anglin, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Autumn Rochelle Robinson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Alexandra Hope Griffin, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Emily Danielle Shaw, Bachelor of Science, General Studies. Joshua Scott Tomlinson, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Abby Rose Thompson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Dylan Matthew Reese, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Joshua Paul Vanderpool, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Erica Kathleen Riley, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Allison Elizabeth Metz, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Kristen Suzanne Emson, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Joe Ransom Bufkin, Bachelor of Arts, Criminal Justice, accompanied by his mother, Beffy, Becky Bufkin, Administrative Specialist, College of Health Science Dean's Office. Mark Allen Anderson, Bachelor of Arts, History. Janine Sue Bird, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Christopher Brady Delansky, Bachelor of Arts, History. Charles Cody Williams, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Sarah Elizabeth McConnell, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Dustin Jeffrey Payne, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. James Robert Huckabee, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Jerry Jamal Buchanan, Bachelor of General Studies. Caitlin Elizabeth Cobb, Bachelor of Arts, History. Alicia Gale Best, Bachelor of Arts, English. Nicholas A. Moen, Bachelor of Arts, English. Joseph Gregory Kohler, Bachelor of Arts, History. Alicia T. Rhodes, Bachelor of General Studies. Gail Michelle Butler, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Haley N. Brewer, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Taylor Cheyenne Davis Anglin, Bachelor of General Studies. Anna Laura Neal, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communications. Sharonda LaShawn Moorhead, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Hannah Bose Ware, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Joshua Glenn Harmon, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Chris Ryan Champlin, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Christopher Todd Henry, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Dakota Wayne Kohler, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Bryce Lane Cobb, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. 
Penny Jean Marie Sangster, Associate of General Studies. Victoria L. Ritter, Associate of General Studies. Victoria M. McCain, Associate of General Studies. Sandra Elizabeth Wells, Associate of General Studies. Nicole Denise Dixon, Associate of Arts. Anthony S. Ducommon, Associate of General Studies. Alexis Marie Baker, Associate of General Studies. Jennifer Peraza, Associate of General Studies. Hane pa Hannah Page Rippey, Associate of Arts. Juana Karen Guerrero, Associate of Arts. Michael Leonard Brumley, Associate of General Studies. James Brian Campbell, Associate of General Studies. Shane Ivan Wood, Associate of General Studies. Rebecca Brianne LeBlanc, Associate of General Studies. Caitlin Lindsay Poor, Associate of General Studies. Sarun Kringwornborn, Associate of General Studies. John Matthew Morgan, Associate of General Studies. Please join me in applauding the graduates from the College of Communication, Languages, Arts, and Social Sciences. Let's give one more round of applause for all these graduates and the hard work that they've done. Graduates, please rise. I invite you to please move your tassels to the left side of your mortar boards. Will the members of the audience give one more round of applause to recognize the graduates? Very good. Please stay standing, graduates. I'd like you all to give a round of applause. Look out on our faculty and the folks who helped get you here, who are in the trenches with you every day, teaching you every day. Please give them a round of applause. They deserve it. And finally, graduates, I'd like you to look around in the audience at your parents, your grandparents, your spouses, your children, um, your friends, all of those people who helped you get here. Give them a round of applause. You may be seated. Rick Goins, the Director of Alumni Affairs, will now greet and address the graduates as new members of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Alumni Association. Thank you, Dr. Barron. On behalf of over 45,000 members, it's my honor to welcome you as the newest members of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Alumni Association. You are now Lions for Life. For those of you not going on to graduate school, I know you're looking forward to getting out of the classroom and tackling the world. But here's a secret that's been alluded to already this morning. Your education will continue all the same. You will learn new skills as you progress through and even change careers, 
perhaps several times, and you alone will be responsible for this advanced education. There will be no professors to assign classwork. There will be no reading assignments, no homework or written tests to pass or fail. Indeed, life itself will be testing you, and life is a sterner taskmaster than any professor you've had. But there is good news. UAFS has helped you develop your critical thinking skills to continue learning on the job and will be here for you to return if you need further formal education in the future. Your Alumni Association is here to help as well. Through our programs and alumni events, we can connect you with other successful fellow alumni, helping you to expand your personal and professional networks. And these may open other doors of opportunities for you. We hope you keep in touch with your favorite professors and return to campus to share your work experiences and life lessons with the next generations of students through our mentor programs, student alumni roundtable discussions, career fairs, and other events. The university needs you to share your time, talent, and resources. And by sharing, you will help shape this, this university for future generations. So please keep in touch with us. Share your stories of success as you ace life's test and make your dreams come true. Again, congratulations and welcome to the Alumni Association. Thank you, Mr. Goins. We appreciate your service to the university as the director of the Alumni Association, and I encourage you to become part of our Alumni Association, be an active part, and stay connected to University of Arkansas Fort Smith. We want to have you around. We want to keep you around, even though you've walked across the stage. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us this morning for the Spring 2016 Commencement Ceremony. Commencement is a time for ending one period of your life and a time for beginning a new phase. It's a time for celebration. I know you will take with you the knowledge and skills to excel in, in our modern and complex world. And we take pride in your accomplishments and wish you the best in the future. We'll conclude this commencement ceremony with our alma mater. The words to the alma mater may be found in the inside back cover of your program. Following the alma mater, we request that you remain at your seats until the recessional is complete. Please meet your graduates outside. Please rise. And join in. All praises sing to the school we hold dear. A part of our hearts will forever be here. Your banner of wisdom our future will guide. The friends that we cherish at our side. Let our song ring out for the white and blue. To you, a Fort Smith, we will ever be true. I declare the morning ceremony of the 95th commencement of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith adjourned. <laughs>